I recently made a video where I extracted the active ingredient from aspirin. I thought it was pretty cool to extract something from a household medicine. So I'm going to do the same thing, this time for Tums. The active ingredient in Tums is calcium carbonate. In this video, I'm going to extract the calcium carbonate relatively impurely, and then I will convert it to calcium acetate. The first step is just going to be to crush up the Tums in a mortar and pestle. Each one of the Tum tablets weighs about 2.6 grams and has about one gram of calcium carbonate. So what I need to do is get rid of the 1.6 grams that is not calcium carbonate. Most of the stuff can just be burned right off. I'm taking a heavy inspiration in this video from Nile Red and Nerd Rage. What I'm going to do now is transfer this to the burner and try and burn off everything that's not calcium carbonate. What's left should be mostly calcium carbonate. We have about 16 grams of the impure calcium carbonate. So what I'm going to do now is react it with vinegar, also known as acetic acid. This is only 5%. I'm going to do an excess of the calcium carbonate. So I'm going to do 300, maybe 350 milliliters of the vinegar. Unfortunately, the biggest flask I have is 500 milliliters, but we should be fine. I'm going to slowly pour in the vinegar now. You can see immediately why we can't pour it all in at the same time. It starts foaming a lot, and given how small my flask is, probably wouldn't be the best idea to pour it in quickly. I'm going to allow this to sit here and react for about 10 to 20 minutes. Here's a quick little intermission. Uh, actually, somehow I managed to get some sponsors. Uh, so this sponsor is uh, an eBay seller known as Zsom, and he sent me some pretty cool radioactive uh, samples. So these are all minerals. My personal favorite is the Archinite, which glows under UV. Uh, other ones have some glimpses of glows, but this one in particular is my favorite. I linked his eBay in the description below. If you want some radioactive stuff, I highly recommend checking him out. He has some awesome prices. He has some super cool stuff. Uh, I can prove that this is all radioactive. Here I have a Geiger counter, and I'll just put it there for a second. And you can see that it just starts lighting off. Link in the description. Check him out. He has some awesome stuff. I let it sit for about an hour, and it looks pretty clear now. I'm going to transfer it to a beaker now, but first I'm going to filter it through some coffee filters. The liquid that came through is pretty clear. It's a little bit cloudy, so I'm going to filter it a few more times. After a long and tedious filtration process, I got a mostly clear liquid. It's still a little bit cloudy, but then again, I'm using the ashes from Tums to make this. Now I'm just going to try and evaporate most of it away with the hot plate stirrer. Now I wait. We're about 15 minutes in, and it looks pretty much the same. It's slightly more cloudy, I think, which is to be expected because the solubility of calcium acetate actually goes down with heat. It's been about two hours, and you can see some things are starting to precipitate. So I accidentally left it going a little bit too long, but that's fine. You can see that the stove bar actually dug a little hole in there. But that's calcium acetate, which is now a little bit burned on the bottom. This calcium acetate is relatively impure because I extracted it from Tums. So first, I'm going to crush it up into a fine powder. I measured out about 5 grams of the calcium acetate. And now, I'm going to put it in about 20 milliliters of water to dissolve most of it in a saturated solution. Now I'm going to slowly add the alcohol. I've come to the realization that I should have added this solution to the alcohol instead of the other way around. So I'm going to retry that now. Let's hope it works this time. Let's dump the rest in. So. My measurements were a little bit off, 
So I'm just going to dump the excess out and then grab the jelly and we're going to see how it performs. We're going to light it on fire. I also feel like it's important to point out that this is actually not any sort of chemical reaction. This is just a homogeneous mixture of uh, a solid and a liquid. The solid being calcium acetate, the liquid being um, water and alcohol. So. so I have a fake pan here, but it's still made out of metal. So I'm just gonna get a little ball of the jelly and let it on fire. So this jelly is actually used in cooking. Uh, it's known as sterno. By the way, the alcohol I used was denatured methanol, but you can use ethanol. I actually recommend you use ethanol. It's a lot more safe, but it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm gonna let it on fire now. So it may not look like it, but this is actually ignited right now. To prove that, I'll grab a little piece of paper. Well, you can also see the calcium carbonate starting to form, but to prove that, I'll put a little piece of paper there and it ignites. The flame itself is pretty much invisible in daylight. Let me turn off this light. Yeah, I can hardly see it. I guarantee you won't be able to pick it up on camera. If you use ethanol, it'll be much more noticeable. This is on fire right now. You can barely see the flame, but you see that little white crusty stuff? That's calcium carbonate. I left the beakers, I left the beakers full of this stuff out uh, for a little bit too long and it went from a gel back to a liquid. So I just dumped it all into this little tray and allowed it to recrystallize. And this calcium acetate looks pretty beautiful. If I could get it to focus, I'd show you there's some nice spider web crystallization. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do it again, this time when it's dark, and that'll be the end of the video. So, by the way, just like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All the links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and let's light this up. Watch what happens when I turn the light on. almost invisible. Lights off. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's been burning for like five minutes now. like flammable butter. Spread it on your bread and it'll toast it for you. <laughs> now we're left with a little bit of calcium carbonate. Peace out.